Mm-hmm. Guess what, people? We are going to win the game. I have a guide with me so that I can get the best ending possible. Here we go. Do you the chapter five opening? Yes! I just wanted to lose consciousness. <laughs> the deepest part of my brain had become thoroughly clouded over, and there were moments when I felt as though I, was, I could almost slip away. But the intense pain would always wrench me back to my senses before I could follow through. I would have welcomed even a momentary loss of consciousness with open arms, but any sort of respite from, from my suffering was painfully denied me. The only possible escape was death, and death was certainly at hand. It was taken, but it was taking an eternity to reach me. I was like a shellfish removed from its shell. I knew my fate, but only the chef could make the end come. And she was savoring my torment. <laughs> no. No. No! 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 Ah! Ooh. Ow. 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 The third victim was stabbed and the left died an intermittent number of times. Whatever that is. Ah. Until her eyeball became soup like in consistency. She was eventually disrupted like that, slowly bleeding to death in horrible agony. <laughs> You're a tenacious one, aren't you? Uh -huh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I accidentally pressed the button in my coughing fit. Whoops. It'd be all over if you just die already, you know. <laughs> there, now it's all nice and mushy. It's oh come. You didn't give me time to read it, said Chico. Fuck. Okay. Moving on! Strangely, it was only after these mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Now open up and say, ah. No. No! Please, no! Mommy! What? Mommy? What? Wait, did, was she doing that all for her mom? What the fuck? Oh no, we're back with Kazami again. My, you're really shaking. 
What's the matter? I should probably stay silent because this guy's a psychopath, but I don't know that yet. I don't know it. <coughs> but. Uh. Uh. Stay silent. Um, good sir, you are on my ass. This man is on my ass. Okay. You really are shaking. Um, may I ask you what your sister is like? Oh, certainly. She's a very cute little girl, quite small, but with great big eyes. I see. Her hair is short, and she's in junior high school. And as I recall, she was always uh, wearing a blue smock. A what? Oh god, what the f- <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just... Sorry. <laughs> I think I'll be okay on my own. I'll look for my big brother by myself. What are you saying, Yuka? Huh? I am your big brother. Oh god, no. You're my little sister. And there's simply no way out of here. Everyone is going to die. So let's continue being to be brother and sister until our dying breaths, for however long we may have. Uh, goodbye. Yuka, I wouldn't recommend going that way. Something dreadful happened downstairs just a moment ago. Oh, he kicked, he sparta kicked the guy downstairs. Yeah, okay, hold on. I need to read on how I'm gonna survive this. Down to the first floor, saving at the candle on the way is probably a good idea. Move part way through the first room and trigger another scene. See you move the way for a lot of chase. Just keep so you be on guard for your pursuit and our protection. Do to save yourself? Just move. Oh god. This is gonna be a doozy. <laughs> Fuck me. This is gonna suck. It says in the guide that this is the longest chase in the game. Do you know how terrible I am at chases? Do you know? No, you don't. You don't, because I cut out every time I fail at one of those chases. But this one? This is the longest chase. 
with the psychopath. Fuck me. Hard. Alright, let's go. Oh, hi. Eek! Uh, are you alright? This is this. This is gonna be terrible. <laughs> who who are you? My name is Mochita. Um, your, your stomach is bleeding really bad. I'll try to find something to stop it. My handkerchief won't help for the wound this big. Come on, you can think, think. Ah, you. Ah, you. You need to get away from here right now. Hurry. But if I don't do something about your injuries, you're gonna die. I'll just apply pressure, okay? Stay with me. No, please, just go! Oh, no. Kurosaki, who on earth could have done this to you? <gasps> oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, my. <sighs> you. You. Dick. I am going to kill you. I am going to rip out your soul and give it to Soul Evan so he can eat it. You fucking bastard. You don't kick Yuka. No one fucking kicks Yuka. <laughs> She's going to convulsions. I'm gasoline. Stop, stop this. Kazami! Kazami! Kazami, I'm sorry. Pardon? I should have done more to stop you when we were kids. I'm your best friend after all, but I never filled that role very well. I never did the things I should have. What are you going on about? Have you really deluded yourself into thinking you're my best friend? I don't recall you ever standing up for me. Not even one time. <laughs> yeah, I... <coughs> I guess I really haven't been a very good friend. Ah, <laughs> well, you won't be regretting that for long. But I must say... I am rather curious about these things you should have done as my so-called best friend. Please, do enlighten me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe something like this? Yes! God, that really hurt, you know. Stop blaming other people for everything, you fucking coward. Take a good look around you, Kazami. Take a good look at what, who you're up against. No one is conspiring against you. We're your friend. We're your friends. <laughs> That's bullshit, and you know it. You're the fucking coward, Kur Kurosaki. Oh, he's gone bad shit insane now. Stomach. It really hurts. Uh, it, brother. Back to your senses, oh, you Yuka. <laughs> Holy shit! Everything is fine now. Your big brother will protect you. 
your big, strong brother will make sure to keep you safe. And now... What's this? A key? Science lab, it says. <laughs> Guess you won't be needing this anymore, Kurosaki. Ah. Isn't it just horrible? The way these spirits kill people? You wouldn't want that to happen to you, right? I'm doing the angry spirit voice for you just because you're so fucking insane. Well, don't worry. I won't let them. No, I'll protect you from that horrible fate. For you see, I'll put an end to it myself. I'll snuff out that tiny, tiny life of yours. Uh, big brother. Ah, come on. No fair running. Wait for me. Okay, go this way. Okay, pause. Do not approach the eastern doorway. Just move a small bit east and wait for the pursuer to the room. Avoid him. Go west past the room and into the stairwell. I'm going to kill you! I'm going to kill you, Yuka! Hey! Okay. Go back up to the second floor. Okay. I want to get the best ending, so... Oh, of course the fucking candle's on loot. Yuka! This is the second floor. Um, I'm sorry about this, but I want to. I don't want her to fucking die. Uh, do not approach the eastern door. Oh no, wait. Um, go east. First two rooms on the second floor. Continue east to the front and take a south. Through the first two rooms. Continue east to the fork and take us take it south. Follow the path west and north. So south. West and north. Alright. Now what? <laughs> Follow the path west and north to another stairwell. Go back down to the first floor again to be in that room to the east of the entranceway that was blocked earlier. So east of the entranceway that was blocked. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, shh. He's fucking close. Um, follow the path west and north into an... Oh, wait. Go back down to the first floor to be in that room to the east of the entranceway that was blocked earlier. This way? Oh, f Not this way. Uh... <laughs> Follow the path east and north to the fuck. Uh. So go west to find yourself back to the entranceway. Front door key is sitting here. If 
front door just... Oh, I did it! Fuck yeah! I did it! I did it! I did it! Fuck you! Head gas, please. You come. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This way, hurry. Oh no, you're Sachiko. Oh, fuck you. Whatever. I'm going this way. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yes, Pat, please. Run, rabbit, run! <laughs> yes! You fucker! Kill him! Kill him good! Fuck his day! Okay. Ooh, doggy. I got more chips. <laughs> Since we're back to this guy. No. Oh. My, my, where are you? How long have we been here? It must be the middle of the night by now. My, my half a thirsty. But I have these chips. Oh, Mayu, don't you realize how very worried I am about you? It's my chips. How are you holding up right now, I wonder? What sorts of thoughts are swimming through your mind? I'm thinking about these chips. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about doing this, but... No. You scare him so easily. And you have such a fragile soul. You really need to. You really need me by your side. Wait, isn't Mayu the girl who exploded? Shig, bro, wait up. Oh yeah, she's the girl who exploded. On the wall. That he was taking pictures of. Huh? What's wrong? Not going to club today? Oh, that's... Oh, wrong voice. Oops. Hmm. That's a good question. What is wrong? They're holding auditions for the lead, you know. Oh, I know, but I just don't think I'm cut out for the role. How come? I mean, I've seen how much you wanted. You've been poring over that script for the last month. Not to mention practicing lines in the gym equipment room. You, you saw that? How... Oh. Embarrassing. Next time you should say something. But you're so into it. I was actually just kind of happy to see that you and your element like that. <sighs> well, either way, I'm giving up on that particular goal. But why? After all that study and practice? Everyone knows the parts in our production are chosen based on popularity, not on acting talent. Mayu, 
You're an upright idealist individual. So you're probably going to think I'm a bit of a spineless coward for this. But I refuse to attend an audition when I know it won't make a bit of a difference. Aww. I truly hate it. It was always me. I always make an effort to attend social events and put on a pleasant front. But, well, I guess it all comes down to the fact that I'm simply not well liked. But I like you. You're a good actor, Shig. You shine in the spotlight. Really shine. And you look like you're enjoying it, too. I, I'm an actor as well, if you don't know. I was in a school play last year. Well, depending on when you're watching this. The current year is 2004, 2013. So in 2012, no, 2000, no, so the year's 2013, last school year, I was in a play. People randomly just stopped me and said that I was the best actor out of them all. Oh. Including some of the other actors' parents. Nah. No. No. But if you hate it that much, then yeah, it's really not worth it. I mean, if you have to force your shift, then you're not having any fun at all, right? And what's the point in that? Yeah, true. Besides, at least I think, at least I got to see it. Sig secret. What the hell? Uh-uh. -uh. Come on, let's head up together. Oh, but how about we stop at the Krippa stand on the way home? Doesn't that sound yummy? Chocolate bananas, man. They apparently have a new one on the menu, and I'm just itching to try it out. <laughs> Chocolate bananas. Ah, uh, Mayu. Uh, chips. I'm well aware that if I'm not there for you, Mayu, it's plain to see how much danger you'll be in. That's what I've been telling myself all this time, anyway. <laughs> That's not the real reason I'm trying so hard to find you. No, nothing so noble. Every time I saw your face and heard you greet me with that shig bro, you'd always say, Oh no, what? Uh, you were saving my life. Please, Mayu, I need you. Please show yourself. Don't leave me all alone. Damn, just once more. I have to see the suffering of others. It's the only thing keeping me sane. Wait, what? Seeing the suffering of others keeping you sane? Let me ponder that while I eat some chips. And I am still saying, I am. No, you're not. God, I've taken so many of them. So many pictures of the dead. It's so weird. They're all real, honest to goodness corpses. But to me, they just look like fakes. Nothing but props. Realistic ones, granted. Much more detailed and lifelike than the cheap fake bodies you see on television and in movies. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's Mayu. This one is the fascist by far. Utterly pulverized against the wall in near the infirmary. Oh, absolutely breathtaking. She's been reduced to nothing more than a chaotic jumble of flesh. 
but not long ago all of it was connected. This was once a human being, walking and talking, with a mind of her own. Should there be truly any afterlife? She must be embarrassed to show her face there, with such a hideously disfigured appearance. I'd probably feel bad for her if she weren't a complete stranger. <laughs> The fuck? What's going on? I'm receiving a call. The why the blasted thing still in the phone view me out mode. No message telling me who's calling either. Just a ringtone. Maybe the OS is shot. Huh? Don't look. Don't look. Oh! Huh? Please, don't look at me. What? Please, don't look at me. Stop staring at my insides. Shig, please. Ah! No, God! Ah! 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 The girl in the red dress, huh? I think I may have seen her, her ghost anyway. When I was with Seiko, in one of the dark classrooms. She was crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her too in the shadows when Yuka and I were walking through the hall, hall earlier. Looks like she's keeping an eye on us. I also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the Heavenly Hills kidnappings and murder case. There were photos of four victims, and she was one of them. There's no doubt in my mind, that ghost girl we've both seen is definitely Sachiko. How is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed, she survived. And if that's the case, shouldn't she have grown up into a proper adult by now? She'd have looked older than us, at the very least. Staying behind in a place like this in child form with the other victims just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Yeah, that part bothers me too. Look at these chips. I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, they'll look through some unrelated accident or something. And she got lost her life as well. If we could somehow meet up with her spirit, maybe we can learn to more about what happened. Well, that was reported at the very least. If it's the key to getting everybody out of here safely, I'll take my chances with this school's curse, or whatever the hell it is. Once we find Yuka, let's say we look for Sachiko as well. Crap. Oops. Though I am worried, I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah, we need to find some means of getting back to the other building. Ew. Oh, what the hell? This one feels completely different from any other. Oh god, it's a big one. This clue can't possibly... Ah. No, Mel, you're right. Hang on to me. Okay. Don't let go. I won't. Damn it, just keep going. Damn it. Go. No, she's gonna be Satoshi. Oh. He's bleeding. Satoshi, Satoshi, speak to me. Are you okay? Uh. No, Satoshi. Okay. 
Now back to seriousness. Shirozaki, Shirozaki, snap out of it. <laughs> Erlg. Guess pet wheeze. <coughs> wheeze, wheeze. <coughs> so, Shirozaki, are you alright? Pant, pant. That's okay. Everything's okay. Okay. Come on, Shinozaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. Snap stiffle. What the? Pant, pant, gulp. That's what happened to me. Hick, whipper, hick. What was it like? What did you see? I saw the true identity of the murderer. Huh? That's why the damned doll wasn't enough. Repentance from the killer. We had the wrong person. Wait, are you telling me... You were actually there? Like you saw the scene of the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuka's eyes. I was bound and then I was killed. God damn it, you little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. The murderer it was a little girl. Do you remember the newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, al along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress, Sachiko Shinazaki. She was listed as one of the victims, but believe me, she's, now, she's no victim. What? <laughs> no, that can't be right. That's impossible for a little girl to do something like that. How could she abduct other children her own age? And keep them prisoner, no less. I could, I could believe it if it, if it were that monster with the hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and trying and tying up little kids at, on any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. With these, when these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. You can't be serious. I have no idea why he would have helped Sachiko in the first place, though. There's still blood on your ass. Clean the blood from your ass. At least I hope that's blood. We have to tell the others. Mochida and Miss Yui. Yeah, I guess. Even Aho wasn't able to find out the whole truth. And she's been in there longer than any of us. We don't hurry up and tell them. They'll be dead before they ever find out. So Chico catches them unaware. It could all be over. We have to go back. Yuka, Yuki, please. Take us back into the closed spaces. We'll find a way to exercise you. And all the other spirits trapped in Heavily Host, I swear. I wouldn't recommend that. As a result of your interference, as well as interference of your friends, the spaces are in a state of critical flux right now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. But if we don't go back, everyone's going to die. <clears throat> Kishinuma, let's go, please, for our friends. Come on, for Mochita. We're gonna go back into the mouth of hell and kick ass! Fine, Dim, we'll go back after all. I don't have a lot of real friends. I'd hate to lose the ones I do. What's that? What are you mumbling about? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was hoping I could go see Miki just once more, but I guess I'll have to put that aside. Whoa. Sure, a rave party! I knew it would happen eventually. Dance, everybody dance, everybody dance, everybody dance, everybody dance, everybody dance, everybody, dance, everybody do the Ashura. 
Oh, 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 oh,